Hello, I'm Alastair Hudson, and this is a welcome to my book, Equity and Trusts, in its sixth edition in 2009. I'm standing in Lincoln's Inn on a beautiful June afternoon. It was here that Charles Dickens began his novel Bleak House, with an explanation of the Lord Chancellor, who presided over the courts of equity at the time, as sitting at the heart of a great fog. Dickens's metaphor of fog was intended to convey how confused equity and indeed the legal system and the legal principles were at that time. Legendarily, equity in Dickens's day was thought to be fraught with delay and cost. At the times of earlier Lord Chancellors like Lord Bacon, indeed there had been great corruption in the courts of equity, which is hugely ironic given that equity is all about good conscience. Equity is all about correcting the common law and it has been since the time of Aristotle to do with rectifying formal justice so as to achieve a more just conclusion. My book Equity and Trusts tries to cut through all that fog. It tries to explain what those concepts are about. Each chapter begins with a statement of the core principles, no messing about, tell you exactly what the rules are supposed to be. And then working through the chapter, beginning with very easy, straightforward, factual examples worked out for you, we try and explain how those principles function, whether those principles and those rules actually do work in the way that they're stated by the judges to work or not. And then by the end of each chapter, we get towards a discussion of some of the key academic debates, some of the key scholarly debates about how the law functions. There's a huge amount of comparative material with other jurisdictions, and lots and lots of practical examples, discussions of all the leading cases. My website, alistairhudson.com, keeps all of these bits of material up to date, brand new cases and a range of podcasts and vidcasts rather like this trying to explain those principles to you. For Dickens equity was all about fog. For me equity is about the fascination of this idea of conscience and how it might apply to law. And so what I want to do is to disperse the fog and to explain what is one of the most difficult legendarily areas of English law and bring it to life for you because some of it I think is absolutely fantastic. Hope you'll enjoy the book, hope you'll enjoy the podcasts, and I hope these vidcasts bring a little something to you as well.